In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord God, you will that the Order of Carmel should be named in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son. Through her prayers as we honor her today, bring us to everlasting joy in her company. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the children of Israel to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he re read it aloud to the people, who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his the word of the lord yes. responsorial psalm offer to god a sacrifice of praise offer to god a sacrifice of praise god the lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting from Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you and you shall glorify me. Offer to God the sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, Alleluia. Welcome the word that has been planted in you 
and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all throughout the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slave said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until the harvest. Then at the harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First, collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, there is this early monastic text which is entitled Pseudo Macarius. And in this text, there is a special writing which actually you know, tells us about our gospel reading today. And it writes, and I quote, The heart is but a small vessel Yet within it are powerful forces. In the heart are dragons, beasts, lions, and there are kingdom of hell. But in the same heart are angels and saints, light, and there is also the kingdom of heaven. End of quote. Brothers and sisters, the readings for the past days reveal the human heart with its goodness and stubbornness. Israel, for instance, was the chosen people of God. Still, instead of being faithful to Yahweh's covenant, they continued to look for another God. Despite the blessing they received from Yahweh, they continued to murmur, and complain. The Lord has made a covenant to His people. So strong is His love for His people that He speaks of marrying Israel forever. And that is the meaning of the covenant. But the people whom God loves tend to go to Baal. In other words, we human beings can drift away from God despite God's desire to give us His own divinity. In our life journeys, we know and we must admit that we have danced to the tune of our various idols most of our lives. And the classic example of this is King David. When the Ark of the Covenant was entering his city, he performed a dance for the Lord. He leaped, he jumped, and he danced his heart as a way of paying homage to the Lord. And yet, after his sacred dance, he committed adultery. After his worship, after his prayer, he committed adultery. David danced to the tune of his passion. He danced to the tune of his demon. He danced to the tune of his human weakness. 
Brothers and sisters, sometimes you also experience this very strong tension, the tension of our humanity and divinity. We both have the so-called weeds and with in our hearts. As Harold Kushner would put it beautifully, Harold Kushner writes, and I quote, Sometimes we would like to be perfect, but we know that we are not perfect. Sometimes we are in fact weak and selfish, but sometimes we can also be strong and generous. Sometimes we can also be more self-controlled and loving. We are not bad persons. We are persons who often does bad things, but more often does good things too. End of quote. Brothers and sisters, part of our humanity is the realization that we have wanted to God to dance to the tune we play most of the time. And God danced to the tune we have played. He bore with all the foolish things we wanted to do in life in His great mercy, compassion, and patience. And the good news is, God keeps showering us with His grace, even if many times we do not show any interest in His Word. Because in reality, we are more interested in the words of someone else. The good news is that God keeps showering us His grace and mercy and compassion, even if we hardly have time to ponder His Word. Because in reality, we are too preoccupied and too distracted to, to do many other things. Even if we fail to share His Word and bless others with His Word, because we are more eager in tweeting on our words, we are keener in spreading fake news on social media, the Lord will continue to bless us because He is merciful and just. Even if we fail to read the situations and the, situa the, the circumstances and the events of our lives in the light of faith, because sometimes we prefer to read horoscopes, even if we fail to trust and to hold on to His Word, because we are more inclined to trust others and believe in their sweet promises. And this is the good news, that God will continue to bless His people. Indeed, good and evil coexist in human life and the world. We are all in need of God's forgiveness and redemption. Today, our gospel reveals Jesus as the Lord who believes and hopes in the goodness of a person and patiently waits for that person to reform or change for the better. It is the fatherly love of God that makes him hope that a sinner like us would turn out to be a saint in the future. We pray that we also become a saints in the making, that in the end, our weaknesses would also bring us to the glory and mercy of God. Amen. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. In every petition we shall say, Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. The church leaders may always work for the good of souls, especially of the poor and the less privileged. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That those entrusted with the delivery of justice may be fair in their judgments. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That as a community, we may recognize the goodness in each other, instead of condemning one another for each other's shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That the sick and those who suffer may be consoled by the truth of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That those who have died may enjoy the harvest of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. Let us, let us also pray for the intentions of those who participate in our Holy Mass online. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by evil in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. And be pleased with the sacrifice which you Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, we reverently offer to you these gifts in memory of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In your service, may our love become like hers, and so unite us more closely with the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. To your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, Father, all powerful and ever living God. As we praise you for your gifts, as we contemplate your saints in glory, in celebrating the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, it is our special joy to echo her song of thanksgiving. What wonders you have worked throughout the world. All generations have shared the greatness of your love. When you looked on Mary, your lowly servant, you raised her to be the mother of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, the Savior of humankind. Through him, the angels and powers of heaven and the prayer of adoration 
rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the true fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under heaven, but thou be saved for me and my soul shall be saved. May the body and blood of Christ keep me saved. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, you have strengthened us with food from heaven. May our remembrance of Our Lady of Mount Carmel always bring us happiness and peace in the knowledge of her protection and help us to become what you want us to be. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray together the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of the, this virus and to save us from our fears. May the outpouring of your blessings on the 75th year foundation anniversary of Carmel obtain for the human family the healing graces and strength of faith so needed and that a renewal of relationship with God through prayer change our hearts and lives for the better. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, but do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of all Christians and health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Saint Pedro Caluso. Pray for us.
The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration has been offered. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives. Amen.